Jesus said, if you love me, you will set your heart to obey my commandments. And that is one way you express your love towards me. We need God's help. That's why I'm calling on Americans to pray and fast like Jesus did. And as God called the Israelites to do in the book of Joel. Israel's condition before Jesus returns, not every Jew, but many, is prison camps. There are so many Bible verses on this, it is staggering. Israel's condition before Jesus' second coming, paragraph D, is described in Scripture as being in prison camps. Not all of Israel, but a significant number of Jews will be in work camps, prison camps, or death camps. He wants to exterminate the Jewish people. That's a strong word. I don't like saying that word. When I say it, it kind of gives me a, 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 ooh, a terrifying feeling when I say that. But it's, it has to be said. The Lord says, I'm going to give all 20 million of them the chance to respond to the fishermen. I'm going to give them grace. I'm going to give them grace. And he says that if they don't respond to grace, I'm going to raise up the hunters. And the most famous hunter in recent history is a man named Adolf Hitler. All the people groups of the earth will be mad if you take a stand on what God says because it is politically incorrect. Portions of Israel will be supernaturally protected and portions of Israel will die and go to prison camps. The most offensive uh, fact, paragraph D down the middle, Zechariah prophesied that two-thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be killed in the crisis. The Jews don't like it. The Christians don't like it. The, the locals in Israel don't like it. Nobody likes the fact, but we can't get rid of the fact. One-third of Israel is going to get radically saved and become lovesick worshipers of Jesus. And so all of Israel, at the end of the day, this is really tough, they end up dying, or if they survive, they get radically converted at the second coming. If you say God scattered Israel, the Jews will really be offended. They go, oh, God scattered us? Uh-huh. Well, I thought the evil guys did. Well, you're under the discipline of God because of your perversion and sin.